Let's get into the latest Seahawks news and rumors, Tom. They're gearing up for that playoff game against the Los Angeles Rams. Jamal Adams, is he going to be ready to go? Yeah, this is going to be a key one to monitor as things move along throughout the week for Seattle. Suffered a shoulder injury. It appears to be a re-aggravation of the one he had a couple weeks ago against the 49ers. Now, as of right now, his status is not quite clear. Pete Carroll said both last night and today. Hurt his shoulder. We don't yet know. He was upset that he wasn't able to go back in the game. And that, that's why he was upset and spiked his helmet and all of that. And he wanted to play. The trainers took his helmet away and said, no, you're not allowed to. Like, doing that, that whole thing there. So, Adams, and I want to make this note too. A, super important. Yes. Like, awesome. Like, these numbers look like they kind of are linebacker numbers. Almost yeah. edge rusher numbers. Basically. As opposed to, like, just pure safety numbers. It hasn't been great in coverage. But Jamal Adams has never had a chance to play in the postseason. He's never been in that situation. So because of that, I would be surprised if Adams didn't find a way to gut through it. Like, he wants to be out there. He wants to play. It's a shoulder injury, injured against the Rams, re it now. You can kind of play through that. This is why he wanted out of the Jets. Yep. Playing games like this because he was tired of losing. I think if, he, if there's no risk of major further injury... I expect him to be out there. You, this defense is not the same when he is not on the field. That much has been very, very clear. He's a leader on that defense, and obviously he's a damn good player as well. Obviously the little bit of risk is you've invested a lot in this guy, and you don't want major injury, but it's not like he's playing on a sprained MCL or something, and if he plays, he could tear it. Like, it's a shoulder. I think it's a little bit different on that uh, on that front. So mm -hmm. I'll put the panic level, and we'll let you guys decide as well. Scale it from 1 to 10. I'm at like a five. I'm not overly panicked, but obviously there's I, some concern. I'm, I'm a little bit more concerned because of what happened earlier this year when Adams missed about four games in total, which he never went on IR. Seattle thought he was going to be back quicker. That's not what happened. Now, that was earlier in the year. Now you're in the postseason, so yeah. I'm not going to panic about it, but I think a five is about right. I hope I kick off I'm, 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 I'm like a two or a one because I want to see Adams out there uh, for a defense that, by the way, has looked completely different than what we saw at the start of this year and legitimately is playing like a top 10 unit when you don't factor in opponents. So let us know how panicked you are. Scale it from 1 to 10. We'll make this the pinned comment on today's video. If you get hit with the ad break, you guys can reply right there. More injury news, Tom, Mike Iupati. Yeah, Iupati set to return from his own neck injury, had missed the past couple games. That's a good boost, I'll call it, for the Seattle Seahawks. Jordan Simmons is serviceable, I guess, at left guard. It's a but nice word. You're, you're hoping to have Iupati. They, they've done some fun stuff. Fun's a nice word for it. Uh, in terms of rotating him out at times of games. You might see that again in the playoffs. But he'll be out there. So, too, well, Brandon Shell, the team's right tackle, he was placed on the COVID-19 list before Week 17. wasn't for a positive test; it was for a close contact. As a result, this means Shell is in position to fully return, fully play, which means for one of the rare times this season, the entire Seahawks offensive line is going to be out there. Fun fact, and really not so fun fact for Seahawks fans. Their projected starting five, these five linemen you see on your screen, have played together five times this year. In those five games, this is where it's actually fun for Seahawks fans. 5-0, and oh, and they averaged 31 points per game. MVP Russ. Oh, sorry, games. sorry, scored 31 or more points per game. That's a good thing for Russell that's, Wilson. That's, that's important, man. You know who else it's important for? Chris Carson, who's been trying to get things going in the mm. latter part of this season, which this is the time to get healthy, Tom, because... Playoffs, they're here. Rams at Seahawks, and really, both these teams are banged up right now. We don't know if Jared Goff's going to play for the Rams. I don't think you're going to see Jared Goff. I mean, it's John Wolford time, so because of that, A, you know, the, the odds aren't available right now, but I would venture to say it's probably, when it comes down, it's Seven probably going to be at least, at least a touchdown yeah. uh, point spread in favor of Seattle. I like where they're at in terms of the offensive line finally getting healthier. We've seen this defense be better against a healthy Jared Goff for the Rams, so I think the defense is going to play well. Will it end up being one of the classic Seahawks playoff games where the defense plays pretty well, the offense looks lost, and then wakes up in the and fourth like quarter to, to, to win? to 12. And th then they win by like a two scores somehow because Seahawks don't ever play normal games? Probably. But I think Seattle wins this game. I like where they're at in terms of the wild card round.
So who you got in this one? Type R if you think the Rams pull the upset. Type S if you got the Seahawks. I'm with you, Tom. There's too much question marks about the Rams quarterback situation. Even mm -hmm. if if uh, if uh, Jamal Adams can't give it a go for whatever reason, mm -hmm. I'm just going to take my chances with Russell Wilson versus either an 80% Jared Goff mm -hmm. or John Wolford. I like those odds. Give me an S for the Seattle Seahawks. And we do have Seahawks face coverings available, so if you guys want one, if you want to stay safe, get one at chatsports.com slash Seahawks mask. These are available. These three packs, 75% off for just $6.25. Tom, we got a lot of different styles, but yeah. this three pack is the deal right now for 75% off. So you guys can check out that link. It's in the comments. Good variety, and too. And it is in the description. Lots of good variety. And hey, I think fans will be able to go to games next year, but you're pretty good chance you're still going to have yeah. to wear one of these. So you might as well rep your team while you're doing it. More news on the Seahawks, Tom, and I guess more rumors here. Could the Seahawks GM John Schneider be heading to Detroit? Yeah, there's a lot going on here that I find pretty darn fascinating. So first up, the, the report is the Lions are going to make a run at John Schneider, who has been the Seahawks general manager since 2010. Now, this was made very clear in the NFL our report of it, NFL.com report of it, excuse me, that Schneider doesn't have f final and primary authority over player personnel. Mm. So that, in theory, could allow the Lions to interview him, but that doesn't mean that they can just hire him. It wouldn't, it wouldn't necessarily be a promotion since Schneider does have authority you know, in tandem with Pete Carroll. Yes. So there's some confusion there in terms of, okay, if Schneider does leave, is there any draft competition? There, there's a lot of uncertainty there. What I think is going on here, and this is kind of reading between the lines here, John Schneider's contract is up after the 2020 or, or for 2022. Yeah. So that so he's out of time almost. His contract ends in the very near future. Right after that 2022 playoff run ends, he's free. Okay. So he's got the rest of this year, next year. That's it. Yep. Pete Carroll already got an extension. Mm. It's John Schneider's turn. Yep. I think this kind of says a he wants the bag. Yeah, you know what? Let's like let it be known that other teams want me yeah. as a little help to be like, hey, yeah, let's make sure we pay our guy and keep him happy because he likes being in Seattle. Yeah, why would why, he, who who would want to go to Detroit over Seattle right now? Yeah, in, unless Seattle doesn't want to extend you mm. when they just extended your good partner, your head coach, and Pete Carroll. So I think Seattle's going to get that deal done. I would be very surprised and. A bit confused. If not, yeah, I get it. Seattle can't draft in the first round, but you know what? It's worked pretty well overall. I think you keep him and you pay him. I this think it's is pretty something easy. at least worth monitoring it, and we'll have this uh, you guys covered on all things Seahawks at mm -hmm. youtube.com slash Seahawks TV. We'll leave you with this question. Type Y for yes, type N for no. Will John Schneider leave the Seahawks? Tom and I are on the same page. I think the answer is definitely going to be no.